Holy moly! Sophie! Sophie for the win, you guys! Sophie for the win! She's already doing chores! She's got almost all of them out. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today is early and I'm in the barn. Sam had a doctor's appointment early, so it means that I am doing chores. Sophie and Gabby and I, because I make Gabby get up and do chores early. We go down at 8.30, not 9.30. <laughs> Whoa! Sophie's on a um, woman on a mission. Our horses are getting a little bit chubby. Ugh, it's frustrating. We have to like... All they're eating is grass right now. Grass is hard, you guys. But anyways, <laughs> Sophie and Sam wake up every morning and they just like have a routine. And so I put a, a I put, I messed up their routine. Sam's gone, so Sophie's still doing the routine. Ah, oh, she goes with Willow. Willow's her the OG friend. Willow is her OG. Willow's like, I'm not your friend. <laughs> And then there's Storm pushing everybody off. He says I can go up, she doesn't need me. But we have chiropractor today. My favorite time ever is chiropractor day. I love our chiropractor. She's a vet and she has horses. And so she gets stuff, like she understands stuff. And I learned so much from her. I hope she doesn't feel like I'm using her. <laughs> because uh, it's inevitable. When she's doing her work, you just get talking. I just love her and I just have so many things that I want to ask her about. Like, she's just the kindest person. Like, she's just so kind. So, so quiet and kind. She's like Gabby. And she just like, I don't know, she's amazing. Sophie's trying to kick me out, but I need to help clean. Hello, Ellie Bear. <laughs> How are you? She makes me laugh every day because she's got this cute little ponytail in her hair and she's like the least ponytail kind of girl ever. Last night I was doing my hair. I, so I put my hair in a ponytail every night before I go to bed, just a button on top of my head. So I was doing that last night and she was laying on my bed. Oh. oh, hold on. So she's laying on my bed and I'm putting my hair in a ponytail tail last night in a bun and she was staring at me like staring at me like you do that to your hair too like i swear she was looking at me to see if i was in pain or if i hated it or if i was giving any kind of reaction if i had like even acted like it was painful i'm sure she'd be like you're not doing that to me again sophie says she doesn't need you yeah. okay, see <laughs> bye something i wanted to like broach again and explain to you guys is that um, people are thinking that Sam and Gabby do all the work. People think that Sam and Gabby do all the work. So basically Sam and Sophie do all the work. They do all the chores, all the morning stuff. And then I do all the house stuff. Like I clean all the whole house, which is equally as difficult. So they do that in the morning but then i come down in the morning and i fix all the things that are important to me that sam doesn't do like cleaning up the the field this field over here sam has never ever picked up a pile of poo in this field not one single time in his whole entire life it's almost always me and occasionally i get the girls to do it but the thing that confuses me the most is i see a lot of comments about sophie being so lazy in every video it's sophie in the barn sophie working with her horse sophie helping do chores sophie doing this sophie doing that and then gabby shows up for 10 minutes and does something and people think that sophie's the lazy one not that gabby's lazy she does lots but sophie and i are the ones they're always with our horses. I can only assume that it's hard to see in the videos somehow, even though it's usually just me and Sophie in the videos. <laughs> or, Dad done that what? Dad would have been done this already? Yes. But I'm videoing. That's why we get done fast. Yeah, well, I'm also gonna clean up this poo out here. Anyway, what works for us on our farm might be different than what works for you guys. Sam and Sophie do morning stuff because I do all the cleaning in our house in the morning, which is a huge thing. I do all the laundry and Sam cuts grass and I cut a lot of grass too. I have certain areas that only I cut, like I'm gonna cut today. Um, we all divide the chores on this farm equally. We all have strengths and, and do different things. We divide our chores evenly. Everybody plays a part. We all do important things with our horses and to take care of them. And I'm really, and I feel really 
blessed that we're all able to be here and we're all able to play a part. It makes it so much more enjoyable. You guys, Sylvie is absolutely amazing. Like, I'm shook. I'm shook at the level of commitment and the level of care she takes when she's doing all of her chores. Minus one little thing. You know what the one little thing is? The one little thing is that she uses the blower to sweep like Sam does. The blower just blows it. I know, but it just blows it into another area. It doesn't sweep it up. I've been poop picking this little paddock. She's been doing everything, every single chore. I'm so proud of her, like being able to see her in her zone. And that's the thing, she's in her zone. It's amazing as a parent to be able to see like kids work ethics and their drive and their ambition. And she like goes to town. She just comes in the morning, gets to work, doesn't talk, just does all of her chores. Like it's amazing. All right, so today we're trying good old fashioned cherry starburst. We got cherry in every flavor. Every drink thing we got was cherry flavored. Cherry starburst. Oh, it's good. They're all good. Man, they are the best. Anyways, she doesn't like this dry. Oh, I need more water in mine. They're really strong. Like, it tastes weird. I like it though. It's good. Okay, so you guys, for Father's Day this year, we're doing, we're having an experience instead of a gift. We're going someplace. We're doing something so fun. But well, we need stars. costumes. We need costumes for it. So Sam took it upon himself. He's a Timu addict. And we got something. With the stuff in my cart. All right. Yeah, you. The person who delivered it saw Gus and uh, Platypus. After she got in her car, she saw them. That's mine. Okay. And she, her face was funny. Her face was funny. Were you outside with them? Yeah. The, the goose and the duck. Okay, so what do we get? You know, next time if dad leaves, I could just do chores by myself. Yeah, you could just do chores by yourself. Yeah. Remember a time when Gabby it's used to be time, able to do chores by herself? It's She's, the time that I get to get away from you. Yeah, and and relax and, and veg out yeah. and just do your own thing. I know, I get it. I like being in the barn alone too. When is Father's Day? Next weekend. What day? 20, I don't know. All right, what'd we get? So they got cowboy hats. They asked me if I wanted one, and I said no, thank How you. That one's mine. Probably the plain black one's yours. What one's the plain black one, Sophia? They're all squished. They can't see. You have to. It's. I think it's meant for kids. Oh, this should fit. It's cute though. Me. You just need to reshape it. it and then Gabby and Sam got black. Oh, that's cute. See, hers has got these little. Diamonds on it. Mine's gonna rebend it. All right, so it's chiropractor time, and I came out to get Sophie, Come on, and Dad. she's got the ducks with her, the goose and the duck. So the love affair with the duck and the goose is still he's happening. So big. He's so he's gotten so big. They say they like double every couple of days. They double their size. And I don't feel like he's that much bigger. He's huge. She's huge. Yeah, we think it's a girl. And then the duck would definitely it's got to be an Indian runner duck because it it runs upright. I think the he's people. He's friendlier. Yeah. He knows when I pick Gus up, he used to scream, but now he's just like, oh, he'll be back. Yeah, he's settling in really well. I don't know if it's a boy. Mm -hmm. He seems to like, he picks at the goose. If my mouth is black, it's because those yeah, candies. Yeah, we've been eating these candies. Oh, that's weird. Come here. Come here. Come here, Gus. Hi, oh, baby. Okay. Do you he only be, gets caught when he wants to. So the, go the goose actually is the sweetest thing. Like, he's been raised by him. Come on, Gus. Come on, buddy. He's like, wait for me. I don't like running in the tall grass. Like, I've never wanted a duck or a goose before, but just having them running around the property has just been the cutest little thing. This is what I meant about honey. She sticks her head through the fence and eats the grass all day. And her mom's just having a nap. That's why she got to do bad stuff. Gracie, you're supposed to make her behave. 
I'm not gonna lie though, this morning was freezing cold the whole time we were in the barn. We were actually in the barn a few times this morning. Freezing cold the whole entire time, and that because it was raining, and now the rain is cleared and it is glorious out here. Like I even want to sit in the sun and relax. Willow Willow's hair looks really cute. I love it. But look at this field. There's no poop in it at all except <laughs> oops, somebody did that. Penny. Where's yeah, Penny? That's Penny for sure. Make it even. You cut it then. Because I can't make it. Storm is? Remember my couple of those mates? Alright, so I think everybody agrees that none of us are good at hair cutting. Storm is up and ready. We're waiting I'll for Akaro. No. You know, he has no mane anyways. It, Just trim it. Look not that I can only trim the ends. Trim the ends. It's going to be uneven because you're pushing it, then you're cutting it. So, you know what, I don't know when it changed. Stop putting it flat. Where we went from the age where the girls asked me, can I cut my pony's hair? And now that I just come in and they got scissors in their hands. I just grabbed You it. missed like, the whole section. Sophie cuts Where her own it? horse's hair all the time. Doesn't even Here, ask me. Take the scissors. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna complain, you do it yourself. Oh, you're not. actually good at it, I'm Gabby. I'm not left-handed. Me either. You're actually quite good at it. Better than Brandon, even, I would say. <laughs> Not as good that as Fiona, really though. Small. Fiona has, like, a knack. Oh, see, this is better than what I do. Yeah, that is really good. Ow. I mean, at least better than what we would do, but you're definitely going shorter. <laughs> yes, I am. What do you think, Storm? You like your girl cutting your hair? To be fair, I think that he likes his girl doing anything with him. Oh well, she says. That's not something you want to, someone to say when they cut cut your hair. Just it just it hair. literally looks fine. She messed up his mane after I brushed. It's not no, even I like it. I think you didn't do a yeah. bad job. Oh, Penny's mane off. No, don't chop my girl's mane off. Yeah, Only I get to chop my girl's chop. mane. Sam is fixing our brush hog, and I'm excited for him to be able to cut down a bunch of this grass. Look at that field over there, it looks nice. Be a big garden. So it turned out nice. I saw on TikTok where people were having like orange residue in the water, it rained, and then there's like all this orange residue. We don't have that, but I'm pretty sh sure yesterday our air advisory was like almost good. I'm pretty sure it's really good after the rain that we had today. It's supposed to just go down and down. So we're gonna be back to riding tomorrow. Also, I love my chiropractor, my equine chiropractor. Like, have you ever met someone that just, like, I can tell her anything. I told her, like, you know that you're my therapist. <laughs> She's, like, as good as a therapist because she lets me just talk things over and then figure them out on my own. But then she's a vet and she, oh, I trust her. So, like, I don't know. I just, I really love her. You guys, if you don't have a team of people that work on your animals or care for your animals with you that you love. Life is too short, honestly. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen Penny do this with Storm. Ever. <laughs> Nobody would believe it. Nobody would ever believe this. <laughs> yo, yo. I was able to talk about everything that we've gone through with Chino and explain it all to her and she's like another perspective and and we talked about like more shoes maybe and I don't know she's just oh, she makes my heart happy you make my heart happy too how did you get out I locked her in the house don't you know that